Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I'm gonna go over with you some options for advent calendars. Um, but first I wanna show you something I was sent in the mail and it's this lovely wreath and it is from Mianna Holmes and I will put the link in the drop down box below. It's um, M-I-E-N-N-A and they sell different home decor wreaths and things like that for different seasons. Um, they did send me the Christmas one and I love it. It's pretty fluffy. It has all the different types of pine and it's on a grapevine wreath which I love. Um, this is burlap covered balls. We have the red berries and the pine cones and it's pretty sturdy and a nice quality and this is an 18 inch so it could go on your front door it could go on your cabinets i might even hang it behind me on my bookshelf so i definitely wanted to share that with you and it was sent to me like i said and the link will be in the description box below now i'm going to collect some things and i'm going to show you some different options for an advent calendar Okay, I'm here and I have some ideas for you in my basket of goodies. So the first thing I was thinking, and I'm not gonna create them all for you because um, I don't need a bunch of Advents, I only need one. Okay, so this one I found these paper bags at a store called Meyer, and these are small little bags which I will open them up for you. Definitely smaller than a lunch bag. So the size of this bag here, when opened, is nice. I think this is a great size. And what I was thinking is you can put in it whatever you want and then take one of these, and they sell these at the Dollar Tree, the little clothespins, and attach it. Now, depending on how many days you're doing, let's say you're going to do, you know, just like a week's worth of treats or prizes or whatever, you can just take a number here. And I actually got these numbers out of a scrapbook, but you can use anything you want. And you can just attach the little number here, or you could glue it on, or you could tape it on. But each day you could have a little prize. Or if your little ones, if you think they'll get into it, each night you can fill it and sit it on the counter. And each of these could have a prize, some candy, or maybe an activity that you're gonna do that day and you could put the materials in it. So I, do, I did find these bags, but again, the Dollar Tree, they have these, which are larger. So if you were gonna do an activity every day, you could put all the materials and supplies in this activity for whatever you're doing. Um, snacks, again, hot chocolate, marshmallow, whatever. I mean, the, it, there are so many things you can do to make the days leading up to Christmas a special thing that doesn't have to require money. It could require, no, I won't worry about that. It'll, you know, could just be your time. Put a different activity in here like they did with the popsicle sticks. You know that we're gonna watch a movie we're gonna play a board game whatever or you can put prizes so that was my first idea was just using the bags with the clothespins I have all different sizes in my bag now this uh, cardstock that I cut up with all the date numbers on it is 1 to 25 I'm trying to pick them up so I have 1 to 25 right there now, another idea, if you just want to do a countdown from the Dollar Tree, you could take this calendar. They have them. These are just cardboard numbers, so you would take those off. The months, and these are on little hooks. You could spray paint this, decorate it up. You and the kids could do it together or whoever. Do whatever you want. You could take these metal clips off and put um, clothes pins on it. Or if you don't even have this, just get a piece, any sign from the Dollar Tree and glue clothes pins. Again, with the clothes pins, and they don't have to be the miniature ones. You can use a regular size clothes pin. Then what you would do is take your numbers and you could do your countdown to Christmas. And for me, I would just leave December up. And then I would start with like one day 
two day three or whatever or 25 24 but this the fun part here is decorating this and then getting to change the date every day and i think that will be super fun and easy very little crafting required to do any type of a countdown when you're dealing with a perpetual calendar hi alex stop it's a perpetual okay sir what do you have to say about it so that was my idea number two buddy can you stop thank you number three i need to get number three number three how easy is this it's done it's on velcro i got this at the dollar tree you just move it but again you could decorate this up a little bit put some glitter around it have your little ones help you or attach this to something else but you could make this your countdown one day gone to you know the follow the dates or go backwards again and on each day you can even put like a little sticker and when you pull that sticker off to put that day you can have a prize or a game or something on these so easy and fun and this is already done for you and it was a dollar and i don't know who doesn't enjoy counting down to christmas so we have the already done for you from the dollar tree so was that number three three we got five going on so number four we're gonna get into some actual crafting here number four so i need to make some room here these cats are Hi. Okay, let's get down. Say hi to everybody. Just Mr. Wellington. Say hi. Okay. All right. He, he had to make a cameo. Number four. Grab a foam core board. Dollar Tree. One dollar. Easiest to do on a foam core board. However, you could do it on any surface. And a couple of these packages of condiment cups. They come with 12. So if you only want to spend three dollars then you would just get two if you have and then maybe the 25th you'll do something different i don't know but these are small little condiment cups that come with the lid and what i've done before in the past is i hot glue them onto the board so i would say if i want to make a christmas tree i would do one you know I, like, I lost my condiment cup, guys. Where'd it go? Anywho, so your condiment cups, you can glue them in any any arrangement you want. You can, again, have the kids help you decorate this board, get the pom-pom garland, washi tape, markers, stickers, anything. The stickers will stick to this, the poster board stickers with the numbers, whatever you want to do. It's easy peasy lemon squeezy. I need to get my number. I lost the number here. All right, back with these numbers. What I have done in the past is I took some green scrapbook paper and I cut circles because I have a punch or used my Cricut or whatever. It's It doesn't matter, whatever you would like to use. Then you, it doesn't want to go on, there we go. So you've got it glued. If you put like a green circle around here, say you're doing a Christmas tree, and then you would take a number, if you had numbers cut out, you could take sticker numbers and glue them in the center. And if you have little littles, they don't have to be in order. And then you guys could find the number and that's also educational. And you can fill these with candies. You can fill them with a little piece of paper that says what activity you're gonna do or what fun thing you have for that day. And you don't have to do 25 days. Again, you can do as many days as you would like. But for $3 and some imagination, you've got a pretty fantastic and pretty large um, advent that I would say put it on a counter. You can hang them, not a problem, but I would say sit it and lean it and then the child or the adult, whoever, can pop the top off and look in each day. I know when my, um, my mom was sick with cancer and it was our last Christmas, I found it, it was gonna be our last Christmas Christmas with her. My niece Sarah made her one of these out of the little condiment cups, but instead of putting candy or food in it, 
she filled each one with a memory that she had with my mom. And so every day my mom and I would open that advent calendar and I would share the memory with her and we would talk about it. And it just brought joy to my mom who got time to remember, I'm flat today, time to remember special things with her granddaughter. So that was wonderful. And just little stories and memories um, to share. So there, it doesn't have to be like I said, it doesn't have to cost anything. It doesn't have to be food related. It doesn't have to be presents leading up to Christmas. It could just be little things. You could also make it cumulative. You know, like put, buy a Lego kit and each day you put a piece of the Lego and as they build it, you know, they get a new piece to add on. I mean, you just gotta let your imagination run wild with you on that. And if you're doing it for adults, candy, um, coffees, teas. I will tell you last year for Sarah, I took a Keurig um, carousel, the metal ones that hold 24 K cups. So you need the bigger one. I got it on the marketplace for $5. I spray painted it black and I got on Amazon a variety pack of coffee and I made it like I decorated it like a Christmas tree and it was a spinning carousel. And each day she had a new K cup. A different flavor to try now speaking on that front the last advent calendar I have for you is this one I took the Dollar Tree candy dish that I found over the summer and I knew exactly what I was gonna do with it and I made this advent for Sarah so I cut this trees out and the word believe and there's stars and the front says Merry Christmas hi sweetheart somebody would like to say hi again guys help me they think I have the, oh, oh get down get down they think I have their treats I don't so for Sarah this year what I did thank you yeah. I ordered on Amazon these are the Republic of tea in one box of tea of their assorted variety came with 50 tea bags and it was like 11 or 12 dollars so it was not expensive at all but there were 24 individual flavors, or 25, 25 individual flavors of tea, which made me very excited. So I took the tea bag and I measured it and it's happened to be a little bigger than a three inch by three inch. So I cut some cardstock in three inch by three inch and on each piece of cardstock, I wrote a little inspirational something, maybe a, a movie quote that we love, or I wrote, I love you, or, have a wonderful day, like lunchbox notes. She's 30 and it's okay. But I wrote all these different things on them for her and then I taped them to the top of the tea bag and then I just wrapped each tea bag in a piece of tissue paper and covered it with washi tape. That is as simple as that. And then I did red and green and I filled up this candy dish with all of the tea bags and bunches of candy, some different chocolates that I know she will enjoy. Some are from Germany, and then I got her some Godiva, no, Dove caramels, and then I got her some of this peppermint bark, because I know she likes this stuff. So every day she can reach in and grab a different flavor of tea. <laughs> well, he did. He thinks I have treats up here. Every day I can, she can reach in and grab a different flavor of tea bag. And if she wants to drink it that day, she can. And if she doesn't, that's okay too. And a little message from me that wishing her a Merry Christmas and have a wonderful month. And she loves it. So those are my five different DIY Advent calendar ideas. Um, I definitely know this year advent calendars are all the rage and you can get them pretty much anywhere and that is so much fun for me because I love an advent calendar but if you don't want to spend the money or if you want to personalize it to somebody it's so easy to do just get on Amazon and look for a variety pack of whatever your person that you're making it for might like I feel like kids are easier I've done for Sarah, this is the second time I've done tea but I went with a different brand this time I've done coffee I did a beauty advent calendar where she got a different beauty product every day and I collected those for months with my couponing. I got her one year all different kinds of candies and dog treats for the dog. I just did all kinds of fun stuff. So I hope this brings you some inspiration and that you enjoy. And I hope you have a wonderful day and Wellington does too.
All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.